Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Ize Iyamu fried plain politics with a dose people's health. Hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Thank you so much for supporting us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Yes, a lot of ambiguous statements have been made. Promises are still being made until the campaigns are over. The campaign for a dose election is still very much on. This will continue until 24 hours just before the September 19 election. From today is exactly 20 days to go. Yes, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu has been making a lot of, you know, promises, which is part and parcel of campaign, where you tell the people what you would do for them if you are given the opportunity to serve them. I mean, politics is supposed to be an opportunity to serve the masses and to serve them well, to be able to help them, you know, manage public funds and to be able to hold this in high esteem where you are, you know, respected and you are able to look out for the interest of the people. Apparently, this has gone rather not too nice or as anticipated by Ize Iyamu. Yes, he went ahead campaigning as he should be, as he should do, but I mean, he was fried, you know, trying to uh, talk about health issues with regards to a dual state election and the people reacted and said, ah, uh ah, -uh, or oh God, which one you did? Anyway, guys, let's get straight into the news and get all the details how he was fried. Mm. The candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo State, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, has fried Governor Gordon Obaseki for playing politics with Edo's people's health. In an interview, he described how the governor looked up and locked up the new Benin Specialist Hospital because of bitterness with his predecessor, ex-governor Oshomole. Some of our people travel all the way to Benin City for health care. He, he remarked, but have to pay through their nose because the governor, after politicizing the Benin Specialist Hospital and kept it under lock and key for no other reasons except bitterness and, pre and pretty politics, handed it to some private individuals who are changing the people, who are charging the people so much money, needless money, and in the ho and causing the hospital to spend, which is supposed to be a public fund and uh, for the public use. Pastor Osage Ize Yamu said the Benin Specialist Hospital was built by Adam Sushomole and should have been used for the people judiciously, and the people of Edo State should be enjoying it. It has been double, double jeopardy because uh, Obaseki deliberately lock up the hospital because of his grievances with Adams Ushomole. This government promised to build a primary health care center in all 92 wards in the last four years, it added. It built none. So, Edo communities have to travel several kilometers just to get a doctor's report. It said such hardship from the inception and the leadership would not continue if he's re-elected in September the 19th. He pledged, my administration will change all this. We will end every hardness, result to, um, result to making the health system of a Edo state in the three sanitarial districts the best so that they don't have to travel from wherever they are coming from. They, they will have one very close to them. The candidate charged the Edo people to remain focused and to vote him into office as he promised to fulfill his promises when he gets into office. One, to make sure that the, senator, the three senatorial districts have a big hospital, just like the one we have, the Edo Specialist Hospital, whom he said Governor Gordon Obaseki has locked under lock and key. Well, that's Ize Yamu talking about the health of Edo State, that um, he's going to do something that has not been done before. He will make sure that all the senatorial districts in Edo State have credible 
healthcare and they don't need to travel all the way to Edo State. He said he will make sure that the, the places are wonderful and the three central districts have big hospitals as big as the one in Edo State so that people don't have to come all the way, you know, travel all the way. So for now, what happened is this government promised that they were going to build healthcare centers in different in all the world so that they don't have to travel all the distance all the way down. We said, but according to what he's saying, the administration has not fulfilled that. He said one of his duty in the office when he when he, if he's elected, as he was asking the people, is that he's going to make sure that all that is a thing of the past, so that the people can have the healthcare, uh, you know, uh, being examined by doc doctor quickly in the. the the area where they are so that they can go about their businesses well this is Ize Yamu speaking said he was going to make sure that the healthcare system in Edo state is top of the best and make sure that the people do not have to struggle uh, he made this why in, a, in an interview I've been asked what the simple agenda was all about and what he intends to do for the people of Edo state and what he intends to do for the people of Edo State, he said one of the things he intends to do is that this said he noticed that this administration has failed the people in healthcare. So he's going to make sure that this um, admin, the healthcare system in Edo State is one of the best. Uh, he's going to make sure that there are uh, what's it called now? There are health centers so people don't have to travel all the way. He's going to make sure that things are done. He's going to employ more doctors. This is Ibizo Yamu promising and saying that he accused Governor Gordon Obaseki of. Of putting the uh, the present uh, uh, health system in lock and key, that has not given the people opportunity to be able to you know you know get use of this use this uh, facilities. That what has happened is that he has uh, locked it on, and so people that come you have to pay through their nose for them to see a doctor. He said, but all this will be a thing of the past if he's elected in, and that is part of his simple points agenda to make sure that he looks after the health issues of the people people of a dual state well all these are what we call election promises okay so if you are new to politics please be aware and be wise when politicians you know when they go about when especially a time like a, a time of election as this they go about and they promise the people heaven on earth telling them what and what they will do but the truth of the matter is some don't fulfill their promises others fulfill their promises whatever the case may be it's a game of chance and it's a very risky one of which you have to be absolutely sure and be certain that your vote you are casting is for the right candidate who you are sure has integrity somebody who will come in and will make sure that they fulfill their promises not just words of mouth but actually fulfilling what they have come to do you know he accused the uh, governor Gordon Obaseki of not fulfilling his promises to the people and he said he will fulfill his promise to the people at those states you are the one to determine that if Ize Yamu is your candidate or governor Gordon Obaseki or any of the or any of that um, any of the other contestants because there are other 12 contestants apart from Pastor Sage Ize Yamu, Governor Gordon Obaseki. God bless you bye for now.